Hello, my fellow human beings, and welcome to episode 45 of The Best Blessed Life. I'm your best host, Kristen, and today's topic is new direction or redirection? You decide. Before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, share, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and please pass them on to anyone you think that they can help. And with that being said, don't forget we have our challenges going on. I won't go into too much detail on those um, because you can watch pretty much any episode of year one, which we had the celebration for last week which didn't come off as too much of a celebration as the two people that were running the episode were not the healthiest human beings. Um, one being me, of course, and I had my daughter on. Uh, she went back to school, so go kick some ass, Peyton. Um, but we're in year two. Can you believe it? Like I said, I know it wasn't much of a celebration, but I was still very excited to bring that episode to you guys because uh, I am just, I'm just having the best time. Okay. And then the other thing I want to talk to you about, yeah, I still feel cloggy, stuffy, but I'm getting better, um, is the word of the day, which is redirection, which is right in the title. It's the action of, I can't read my own writing, of assigning or directing something to a new or different place or purpose. And if you saw one of my posts um, about the new season coming up, I, I wrote about um, everything I'm doing has a purpose. So I'm kind of leaning towards redirection, and that's kind of why I made it the word of the day. But again, you guys decide. Um, so yeah, we're starting year two. I can't believe it. Uh, it's been a fun, interesting, like I said on the celebration episode, it's been a crazy ride and um, I'm just so appreciative that people are watching and getting something from them. Um, with that being said, I'm going to keep going forward with what I've been working on um, at the end of last season, I started getting more into a recipe that I keep talking about. And uh, the fun of it is, is that I have, or the exciting news I have is that I have more of the business plan done than I originally thought. I think I found some things that I originally thought were lost. Uh, not the recipe, of course, but um, at least the business plan portion of it anyway. So I'm very excited there. Um, just need to work on a couple other things, tweak it, of course, and then send it out to every person in the universe. No. Anyway, and then the other exciting thing is I have a, and that's why I was thinking it was a new direction, a new direction to go as far as the rep recipe is concerned. Um, and I am starting with um, letting you know that I'm not going to uh, give it all away because I feel as though um, this is a recipe that is um, out there in the world, but not the way I'm doing it. And so therefore, I don't want to give too much of the ingredients away. Um, as we all know, um, <laughs> Last week's celebration, and I'm putting it in quotes because I, I almost want to put a question mark after it. Anyway, I'm mashing something in here. That's all I'm going to give away for now. Um, we were supposed to eat cake uh, made with cauliflower flour and coconut flour and oi. Um, let's just say... I I didn't think it was as bad as uh, Peyton did, um, but it definitely, um, the stink factor alone would be something that would deter people. And Lord knows I don't want to start out already deterring people. I'm trying to include or uh, be able to include as many people with this recipe as possible. Um, as I am a person who's allergic to peanuts and have only been allergic to peanuts for, say, 
I don't know, the last six to eight years, I think. I want to say eight. Anyway, um, it's hard when you've grown up on peanut butter and jelly and, you know, eating peanuts while camping or at the ballpark or, um, you know, just things you would not believe actually have traces of peanuts or are made in a factory with peanuts. I know I've gone over this with you guys before. Um, but a lot of times, and I don't blame people, but it's frustrating that, um, I know everybody goes into this thing where we, well, we made it gluten-free for you. Um, but, uh, or nut free or whatever, and then they put it right next to something or on top of something that has said nuts or eggs or wheat or whatever. I know there's a lot of people out there that have a lot worse than I do. So I'm not complaining. And frankly, uh, it was going to be one of two things that I was allergic to. I was getting massive hives. Um, thankfully, it has not become an anaphylactic thing, but. It's definitely not a fun time when you run across something or you accidentally eat something that, um, yeah, has it in there. And you don't know it, for one thing. That's the scary part. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm doing a mash here of some things. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'm, I'm just not going to tell you what it is. Uh, and I've doubled the recipe. Except I haven't really doubled the sugar aspect on this one yet. And hopefully I'll be able to look back at this episode. Excuse me, I have something in my eye. Um, and realize, uh, okay, so I have actually doubled the recipe as far as the um, flour component and the actual base component for this. Um, but I actually cut the sugar and what I'm using for sugar not in half. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you how's that. No, I'm not trying to be uh, secretive or anything. I just don't really know because I didn't really measure it out that well. Okay. Um, yes, I know it's a baking thing, but I don't know. There's something about this recipe that caught my eye um, that I'm hoping will work by making it a, by making a healthier version. And that's where I was running into a lot of issues. Um, not that I just want to make it healthier, but I also want to make it gluten-free, um, white sugar. I'm trying to stay away from, um, as much as possible, gluten, um, nuts, uh, soy, I'm trying to stay from, away from a lot of things. Cause I know there's a lot of people out there that would love to enjoy or go to a restaurant and enjoy some things that they can't because, well... I don't know. I get scared about going to Chinese restaurants because I know there's um, recipes where they actually incorporate peanuts. And I don't know how um, careful they are about keeping things separate. All right. So since I've doubled the recipe, I've also doubled the flour. And again, I'm using coconut flour. I think what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Okay. So I'm supposed to add all the rest of the ingredients which is the flour, and then there's water and sugar, which I already put in there. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda, I don't know, it doesn't say them. It just says add, doesn't say how. You'd figure it out, damn it. So I'm hoping this recipe translates, that it will be something that works out um, because uh, I'm going to get a different stirring mechanism here. I'm setting you down, microphone, but please do not become unplugged. Okay. Uh, I want a spoon. No, I don't want a whisk. It's too thick for a whisk. Okay. Um, so I'm working off the fact that I have now... I'm in a better place with this whole process than I originally thought. You know, sometimes it takes that moment of just going, okay, I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to look at everything I've accomplished and see where I'm at. That's a scary, petrifying moment because it's either, oh my God, I'm a lost 
a lot worse off than I thought. <laughs> Which nobody wants to know, right? You don't want to know that you haven't accomplished as much as you thought. But the worst part was going into it thinking I'd accomplished a lot and then couldn't find it. I'm like, no, I know I went through and gave each thing a section so that I could write things down as I went along and how they applied to the different, you know, because there's different, they want different sections. There's a marketing analysis section and there's a financial section. So they, oh, this actually smells like, please don't fail me now. Oh, um, the other thing that enticed me about this was the way that I could prepare them, which another thing I can't tell you about. I'm not trying to be cagey. I'm not trying to like, I'm just trying to work on things and show you that things can be difficult and you still got to keep moving forward. Okay, I just need my water. And it was four tablespoons, but since I've doubled the recipe, I need eight. This is, let's say one to two. Might have said one to two, so maybe I'll start out with four. Because you can always add more, you can't take water away. That's my thought process anyway. I know that I've heard a few um, chefs in my day say that. So one, two, three, and four. All right, so then, oh. I guess I can leave it in there in case I need to add more water. Um, the nice thing about this recipe is that I feel like it'll, um, because I want to be able to make ahead and freeze, but not cook. So I want to make ahead and keep them in a frozen raw state. Um, all right, I'm going to need some more. It's supposed to, what does it say? Uh, to form a dough that is not sticky to the hands. Ooh, I like it. Okay. All right. I still feel like it needs to be mixed together more. Yeah, there's definitely flour on the bottom. Um, the nice thing about this recipe is that if I'm planning to grow things like in my head I am, um, that this will be a perfect um, base. I don't know. I, I have mixed emotions right now, guys. Remember, I cut the sugar a little bit. It's still a little dry. It says not sticky. It's not sticky. I mean, it's not. Hmm. Still not all mixed together, though, I'd say, or incorporated. I think I'm going to add, see what theirs looks like. I think I'm going to add a little more water. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited about this new year. Like I said, I didn't know if it was a redirect or a new direct. I think it's a little bit of both. I don't know. Give me your feedback in the comments section. Um, I need to build up this. I don't want it to be mushy. Let's see what happens when I use, going back to my original concept of, I walked away and forgot to put my microphone back on again. Um, I hope this is picking up everything. Anyway, I want to use the concept of using like my, um, I use these to make cookies, ice cream scoopers. So I'm wondering if I will get, because they say roll, roll, I don't know. I mean, it's mm, still a little dry. Okay. That was the perfect way to do that, was just to kind of roll it like they told us to, or the, the way the dough should be. See, I got enough. It's, it's, it's definitely tangled. <laughs> but I have enough to move around. Okay. 
Um, what was I saying? Come on now, work with me. So a good way to check that the texture or the consistency or whatever was to have it roll in my hands and see what happened. So I'm at five tablespoons, just trying to keep it all straight so that um, then if I look back at this video, I can recreate this recipe if I need to. Um, so I'm very excited. I, I can't believe, oh, I was so happy when I found it. I almost crapped in my pants. I, I Seriously, I'm not even kidding you. I'm like, wow, see, I, I knew I wasn't, I mean, I knew I wasn't losing it, but I kind of just, I, a lot of, a lot of the problem was that I had not titled things. So I just went through the other day when I found everything and retitled everything. And I think I have most of the sections except for the financial part. And that's kind of the scariest part, you know? Like, how do I, I don't know. Still not, um, I would say not wet enough. Okay. Um, so that's a scary, ah, that's the scariest. I don't know, Jordan, if this court's gonna work. Um, Scariest part about this whole thing is trying to figure out. I'm just going to stand right here for now, just in case I need more water. Trying to figure out what all is needed to get this um, endeavor off the ground, so to speak. I, uh, you know, I had someone post. Uh, one of those beautiful, inspiring kind of things, and it says you're either a procrastinator or a perfectionist. <laughs> and I sent her back something like, well, um, I feel like I'm a procrastinating perfectionist that doesn't know how to make anything perfect. LOL. And then I proceeded to put, um, or am I just a perfected procrastinator or something that to that effect? Or have I just perfected procrastination? Which I think is more... I can convince myself that I'm getting things accomplished. And yes, I feel like I am. Oh, are we getting somewhere? Oh, come on, baby. Um, I don't know. I think I'm missing an opportunity here with this water to flavor my recipe. I really, 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 really do. So I think going forward, changing it up, I would probably um, instead of adding water, add something with a little bit of flavor. And depending on which I use it for, because again, you know, I want it to be savory and or sweet, depending on what I'm using it for. Let's see now. I don't know, guys. Now, the enticing thing about, yeah, we're good. I think. The enticing thing about this recipe was... The fact that they gave a couple different ways that you could bake them. The only reason I wanted to use the scooper too, and I should have grabbed cookie sheet. All right, this being in the middle is not working. So I'm wondering if I should just clip it on me pocket. Okay. Um, So the way they listed that I could cook it was enticing, of course. And then just the ease of, of how to make it was, and the fact that there wasn't that many ingredients, most of which, especially if I grew them on my own, wouldn't cost a lot of money to make. Um, so, I mean, there was a few very um, convincing factors here. The only part that I didn't like was that there, there was no, like, measurement. 
of how big to make them. Just said roll them. Hold on here, my my tablet closed. I, the other thing I'm thinking too is that maybe I'll flavor them with coffee, but we'll see. Um. Yeah, I'm going to make a few of these, and I'm going to make them different sizes. They're sticking together really well. Even even though I'm not rolling them, I'm scooping them. The only thing I might have to do when I actually do, like, cook them is probably have to, like, compress them more. Now, when I was using, what was I using initially when I started out making them with you guys? I guess it was just coconut flour. I don't remember where I started. It's all a blur. Um, but this is advanced. And so uh, I realized a few things about how I want to proceed. Um, and if the uh, size wise, yeah, they might need to be like, mush together. Um, one of the things I kept talking to you guys about, especially with the cauliflower after I roasted it, was worrying that it was going to be um, too dark. Um, I kind of got over that. I figured for the most part, nobody's going to really see a lot of it because of what we're going to do with it. I know I'm being very cagey. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to throw shade or anything. I just want to accomplish some things without like giving too much away. And um, it's kind of hard, I realize, but it's also kind of exciting to take you guys along on the trip again without giving too much away. Let's see. Now, the only other problem I'm going to have is. Um, Deciding like if I'm going to use the t if I'm going to use two different sizes or if I'm just going to because I, I do want to um, I don't know What do I want to say? I do want to um, Convert them into different um, Shapes besides not just the balls so like flattening them potentially Now they add an ingredient in here that I'm not going to add as of right now because I'm changing the recipe. Um, but I'm so excited for this recipe because in the in the general scheme of things, this this particular vegetable um, is already a little sweet. Coffee time. Um, the only other dilemma I'm going to have, I think it's going to be light enough as far as, um, density or texture, however you want to look at it. But I think the other problem is going to be how long it cooks. And if it is, um, cause I don't want it to be doughy because it's really not going to be dough. So it'd be like feeding them a raw vegetable. Um, I, no, I wouldn't. I already boiled the potatoes. What am I thinking? Um, I want to take that back. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I was thinking I was feeding them raw vegetables, which I would not be. The potatoes are boiled and I gave it away. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, there you go. So, you know, they're potatoes. I wasn't going to give it away because I was a little flustered by the whole cauliflower debacle. And so I thought if I gave it away, we'd be just walking through this other minefield of uh, different recipes and things. But that's what I'm trying. And uh, so there you go. I 
think that it should work out pretty well. The nice thing about it is that the potato, or like I was going to say, has already a, a sweetness to it. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't, I don't think it needs as much sugar as it says in the recipe. So, there you go. And I, I feel like I've changed a few things. I'm going to change a few more things. I do feel like instead of adding the water, I might do a coffee or even milk. Or the other thing was... Um, I just had it in my head too. Yeah, don't remember. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna be playing with things like that as far as like, um, and then different seasonings. So like, should I be adding a, a salt element that um, when I boil the potatoes, or should there be a, a salt component um, that would be in the savory that wouldn't be in the sweet or vice versa? I mean, uh, the other thing I was thinking of adding was more of a, to give it more of a, um, like a freshly baked pastry, which it will be, um, is vanilla. You know, me and my vanilla. So um, I've made a few without so that I can base the just the general uh, recipe on that, that and then I'm going to add I don't know no no all right where's my what did I do with my my spoons okay so I'm gonna add I'll start with one because I feel like this is going to give it that, um, it's just going to give it that, that bakery. <sighs> Plus it's going to add a little bit of liquid. So maybe I can take a little bit of the water away. I wanted to give it a little bit of a, I wanted to have a little bit of a vanilla scent for sure. Yeah, that's like a whole different ball game right now. And then I'm thinking if I split the dough, I could do like a salt on one and then do the vanilla. Or maybe vanilla is going to be something I like to put in both things. So the liquid from here would be the first liquid part. And then we could add, I'm going to do one and a half for now, guys, because I'm just not really sure how sweet I want them yet because remember it's just going to be a delivery system to get all the goodies to our face what a difference I'm really excited now I, I like that um I like that yay okay so now I'm gonna do let's move those over there no, I want to. I don't know. I have a weird amount. All right. And then I'm going to. Okay. So then after I make these, I'm going to put them. I don't know. I feel like I want them to be able to freeze in this state. I can't get over the difference that Vanilla made. I'm very excited. Um, oh, the other thing I was thinking about adding, because if it could have a protein aspect to it, it would make it even better. So, you know me, um, adding Greek yogurt is my favorite thing. So I'm thinking instead of it being a milk per se, that I might add a, um, like a yogurt slurry, if you will. But then I'm also thinking about adding coffee. I don't know what it would how it would change it. 
like I said, I'm not really scared about the color anymore or the parts that you can see because I'm thinking to myself, if you have fun eating it, what does it matter what it's made out of unless you're allergic to it, of course. That's the only reason I would think about not adding the dairy, but thinking of a way to add protein without without adding soy or anything like that is another daunting task. It would really be great if they could be an energy bomb type of thing. It could be like a one hit where you get like everything you need for your, to start your day, you know, because breakfast is the most important meal. Even though I'd rather have breakfast for dinner, I'm a BFD kind of gal. My husband, however, is not a breakfast for dinner kind of type of guy. So the only time it really happens is if we go to a diner and they have more than breakfast. I am so excited about this new scent I'm getting. Either that I'm just wafting the vanilla from the bottle, which is probably more likely. But I'm very more encouraged by the what the vanilla has done. And I, I guess I should be keeping these separated more. <sighs> so, happy little accidents, I'd say. I want to at least make even amount of each. Um, happy accidents make for, I don't know, exciting days. I, I just get a kick out of being able to, I don't know. Surprise myself? Surprise myself. I know other people surprise me daily. I, I, I just am so impressed with how my kids handle themselves. And, you know, I'm impressed by friends of mine who really have stepped up and, and I don't know. I'm just so inspired by so many women in my life. I kind of got off that, didn't I? I was doing inspiring women in my life. I'm going to have to work that back into year two here. I'm just so honored to be... I don't know. A woman. <laughs> you know, it doesn't feel like it right now, but... All right. I think I'm going to see what happens to these when they freeze. Because frankly, that's the next step. I want to be able to pre-make them and have them ready. Um, it would probably be what would be considered like a day's worth at a time. So that all we have to do is cook them. Um... I'm trying not to squeeze the handle because that's making them pop out. All right. I just can't. Ooh, that one didn't go to half together very well. Um, I know it's missing some things in my head, but overall, I like the consistency. I like the texture. I guess maybe that's similar. I don't know. Taste factor is still on the horizon yet. I haven't um, checked that part out yet. So I'm trying not to put too much hope onto this. But I feel like there's more of a direction I can go. Um, so if you consider that a redirection, uh, I, I get it. <laughs> I don't know what I, I'm aiming for. Uh, new direction seems a little... Uh, like I'm starting over and I, I don't feel, I mean, in some aspects, yes, I do feel like I have not come uh, to a complete plan yet. So I feel like, yes, I have changed some things about what I'm doing, 
but the overall concept is the same. The overall feeling is the same. So, I mean, for the most part, if we don't keep having new directions, we'll just be, or redirection, we'll just be floundering, I feel like. And then you can't learn anything that way. So the next step is to determine whether I should just be refrigerating them. <coughs> Excuse me. Like a day in advance, so everybody who's making them makes them for the next day. Or can I freeze them and make, you know, a week's worth? You know, that seems kind of a lot. But I guess it depends how it holds up, right? So that's the next step, guys. I, I really feel like um, this week I faced some things head on, which I was kind of afraid to do. To be honest, I had looked for them previously. So any thoughts of finding them or the daunting task of starting over was what was supposed to happen. And it didn't need to happen. So my day went from starting at step one to checking off everything but that last step, which is going to be the hardest, I know, but still, um, whew, it's kind of a relief to know that I, I really am not um, giving up. It is hard to, um, it is hard to think about like, um, thinking you've come up with this idea that you can, you can do anything if you put your mind to it, right? And then to not prove it to myself, uh, was a scary thought. I'm like, okay, am I really just going to let this, like, you keep talking about it for a reason, right? It's not going away. Uh, that's one thing I keep reading about, you know, these purposes in life, uh, if that's what you want to call them, or these uh, callings, you know. I never thought that being a personal trainer was, uh, I always thought that being a personal trainer was my my career, what I wanted to be when I grew up, because I kept telling my kids, you know. Um, Here's the funny thing, you know, I didn't figure out what I wanted to be until I, uh, until I was 38 years, uh, I didn't want to be, till, I can't talk again, no, I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up until I turned 38, and I said, now I know I want to be a personal trainer, and I like helping people accomplish their fitness goals and their nutrition goals, and Everything about it was perfect and is perfect, except that uh, there is more to the, I want to make sure I didn't unplug this now because I just stepped on the connector part, <laughs> to this life thing than having just one career. I mean, I've had several, don't get me wrong. Um, I worked in retail. I was a telemarketer. I sold vacuum cleaners. Yes, I did. Uh, door to door, sort of. Um, I worked in nonprofits. I owned my own personal training. I've been around the block, like with a lot of different careers. And I stuck with personal training because there was such this, this sense of going, oh, Kristen, you really did something that I haven't been able to accomplish in a long time, which was not blame it on the food. Step out of your comfort zone and figure out what's going wrong because it is not the food's fault. And I can say that till I'm blue in the face, but stop blaming it on the food. Food has been around forever. It's all these preservatives and stuff from those middle grocery aisles. That is one of my main goals this year, hopefully, to be able to bring to you a grocery store tour on how to shop at the grocery store. 
so that you can get a vibe of what I'm trying to say about not only avoid the middle aisles, but go through and find the ones that have like the pantry things and that kind of stuff and your pastas. But you can even get fresh pasta now, though. Frozen, I guess it's not fresh then, but in the fresh refrigerated section as well, but also in the frozen section, I've seen them. But uh, just going forward, just I plan on just making this, making this thing happen. Uh, I'm sick of talking about it. I know you're sick of me talking about it. Um, I'm, I'm sick of trying to say, oh, the business plan is too hard. It's too hard. Wah, wah, wah. Quit your bitching and quit your whining, right? Hello? I, I've always said that to my kids. It's like, it's not hard. You just have it in your head that you can't do it. And it's true. I must have had it in my head that I can't do it. Because I just kept saying, oh, it's too hard. I can't do it. I can't figure it out. My thoughts all are, are all over the place, which is true. I have fibro frog. frog. I have fibro frog. Fry, fibro fog. <laughs> Which makes it hard to think or keep on focus and stuff like that. But I'm working it out myself to keep myself um, on task to um, put it out there in front of you all to make me accountable to you so that I have no excuses. Um, sometimes they were excuses. Sometimes it was just... I did stuff. I, I accomplished things. I got so far and then I felt defeated. And then every time you take that lick, you know, every time you're knocked down, it gets harder and harder to get back up, especially when you get older and older. It's hard to get back up. It really is. And I'm not saying that as somebody who is defeated. I'm just saying that as someone who, you know, I'm going to keep getting it up, but every time I get knocked down, it takes a little bit longer and a little bit longer. So, um, I don't know if there's a patience factor there that is, um, driving me crazy or if it's just me not realizing that I, I can do this. I, I don't need, um, I don't need to talk myself into not being able to do it because I already thought I couldn't do it. I need to talk myself into doing it. So going forward, that is what you're going to see me doing on this channel is talking myself into doing things that I, I didn't do or couldn't or thought I couldn't do or to live my best blessed life. I think this is going to be a true um a true new starting point so even though we're in year two i'm still counting up on the episodes i was getting to that you thought i i was i was trying to get one past you um i know it would be year two episode one for the most part <coughs> but honestly i wanted to keep counting up because i want to keep track of the episodes so, I am going to call it year two, episode one, or, I don't know, year two, post one, episode 45, I don't know, something of that nature. We'll figure it out. I don't think it's that big of a deal. You all know where we're at. We've accomplished great things so far. We're just going to keep mowing down all these challenges without, um, I don't know, without worrying about it. You know, I kept saying, I want to open my own business. I want to open my own business. And there'd always be people go, you know how hard it is? Do you know what you have to do? Do you know the tax, the, you know, do you know that you have to have this or that or the other thing? Yeah. And? It doesn't bother me anymore. I used to I used to let that deter me from getting started. Oh, it's a lot of work. 
I have a lot to do. I don't know if I can do it by myself. Wah, wah, wah. I can hear my grandma in my ear going, why are you whining? Just do it. So I am. Um, everybody needs motivation, right? We all need to be pushed in the right direction. Yes, I said the right direction. I know some people say if you're procrastinating that it isn't really your goal, but I'm going to not call myself a procrastinator. I'm going to call myself a person that takes a really long time to get back up. Um, and you can knock me down as many times as you want. But I'm just going to keep getting back up. So say what you will. I'm having fun. I hope you all are having fun with me. Um, helping me talk through these things. Um, hoping you're learning something in your life that is helping you move forward with what you want to do. And uh, I think that's it. I just can't thank you all enough. I really appreciate you coming and checking out my year two. Two, two, two. And with that being said, I'm, I'm just going to say thank you. Um, for the continued support, please keep watching, commenting, sharing, liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, and please pass them on to anyone you think that they can help. So I just have one more thing to say. Well, not one more. But I want you to go have a good day. Go do great things. Be your best self. And please live your best blessed life. Thanks for watching. Bye.